Hi, I'd like to talk about EM politics today. We have 80 countries we can look at, and that naturally means a lot of elections, between 16 to 20 a year. I think it's important to have a process for managing political risks, and the way we do it is we follow opinion polls, we think about the outcome for policy from different election results, and also we try to think about what's priced in. In the coming months, we have a number of key events we have the Turkish elections on the 24th of June. We have the Mexican elections at the beginning of July. And we have the Brazilian elections in October. In Turkey, the elections may have already happened by the time you listen to this broadcast. But it would still be important to follow what happens afterwards. It's important to know whether we have a president who has a parliament which cooperates with him. And at the same time, it would be important to follow what kind of policies this new government will have. One of the key economic problems of Turkey is the reliance on volatile capital flows. And we'll be following what the government is going to do about that, whether it decides to follow an orthodox strategy for dealing with its vulnerability to these flows, or whether it tries something a little bit more innovative. In Mexico, it seems very likely we'll get a shift in economic policy because the leading candidate, Lopez Obrador, has a bias to spend more, has a bias to take a bit more interventionist economic policy in the country. And at the same time, he's also hinted at looking a little bit more closely at the past reforms in the country. For us, the key thing is what he does on the energy sector, whether he stops foreign investment into the sector or whether he lets it continue. Also, we'll be following what he will do with regards to NAFTA negotiations with the US and Canada. It seems very likely that the economic environment in Mexico could be complicated by his presidency and as a result we think Mexican assets need a little bit more risk premium for it. In Brazil we have the elections in October and there's a great degree of uncertainty about who actually wins. This is because a large portion of the population is undecided between the four candidates. That said, we think that there will be policy continuity because out of the four candidates only one wants to follow more unorthodox economic policy his name is Ciro Gomez, whereas the others have espoused policy continuity and they're fighting the elections more in terms of social issues, problems about corruption. So even though there will be uncertainty over who wins the election in Brazil, it seems very likely that the uncertainty will only be short term. So to summarise, we're a little bit more cautious about Mexico and the election results than either of the others. Thank you. For more information, please visit ubp.com.